Seven seconds. Riddell to the sideline. Wow, what a hit! Flags all over the field. It's ruled incomplete. No time on the stadium clock. Dre Butler is standing on the sideline waiting for this throw. He's in the field of play. You there can see no it happen. There is no foul for illegal substitution by the defense. First down at the 48. Lock winding up. Want to go deep. Oh, he got smashed. Woo! What a hit. Number 22, LT Overton. Out of nowhere. And that's how he's been able to have some sec success so far in this game. Seems like a rusher. Couple hundred yard games to his credit. Barnes is throwing right out. This gets absolutely hammered. Almost intercepted and incomplete. Kyrie White got smoked. What a hit. And obviously the crowd doesn't like it, but look, man, he's walking off the field and jogging off the field now. And oh, fans love well, that. That's here. a good sign right there. Tayo Johnson, clean hit, partner. Shoulder to the shoulder area. That's a good strike zone. And get into a rhythm. McLeod pulls it. Oh, what a hit! Shamari Simmons, all football on that one. And Jordan McLeod pulls the ball to throw it out to their tight end in the flat. And I'm telling you what, Shamari read that, saw it all the way, broke on the ball, and made a big play. A well-balanced attack. Just about everybody able to get involved in a big hit on the perimeter for Tulsa. And Elijah Green. As a defensive back, those are situations you look for. You get excited about. In that win at Auburn. Receiver in motion and a play fake on first down. And Mendoza goes down right away. San Diego State blitzes the linebacker. Tano Latuli with the sack. Depth was an issue coming into the season for Georgia Tech up front. They bring in Vandenberg from Penn State. Gore from Miami. Drag pattern caught and then knocked free. Ball loose. Let's see how they rule this. And they're going to say catch and a fumble. Georgia Tech gets the takeaway as Powell Lee ends up with it. And it'll be interesting to see if he actually made a football move on this play. I know they'll review this. Through the first two weeks. Yeah, he's got to get going. They have a flea of backs. They have this offensive line that has all these starts under their belt. Lost the football. He coughs it up on the second snap of the game. And Chandler Martin scoops it up for Memphis. It's just a fantastic hit. On the part of Darius Coffey, who comes in and just puts his hat right on the football. And you see Chandler Mark and Martin pick it up. And just watch the safety coffee right there. Wham! Second down 11. It's a play fake. Pressure coming in. Aguilar is hit. The ball is loose. It's recovered. They were getting after it there. They did call it a fumble, not a forward pass. It's third down here. Sam's got to back off that secondary. That secondary is playing very tight for Hawaii right now. On third down, Watson throws over the middle, ball tipped in the air and incomplete. Now penalty marker comes down. Right, ball's in the air, oh, boom. Yeah, there you go after the ball is bombed. Now, I don't think that's going to end up being targeting. After review, there's no foul for targeting. Okay, good. Incomplete pass, fourth down. You see the concern on that Arkansas bench area. As they will give it to Satania here. And he is hit, dropped at the 47-yard line. One minute to go, first half. And a handoff. Cooper goes down. Wow, Hulu Ave, he almost took the handoff himself. I'll tell you what, when he decides to hit a hole and go attack the ball carrier, pushed around there on that opening drive. Fake, flipped in the flat, and that's Joshua Simon, another tight end that we'll see today. Ball comes loose. Look at LSU, they never adjusted to the motion. So you got a couple of receivers already out there, man-to-man -man coverage, there's the ball. Oregon State held Oregon to a field goal. Zachary Card from three yards deep, that's what's after him. Card gets knocked down, it gets drilled by Dante Manning. That was a low liner of a kick, and typically when you field it that deep in the end zone, and they're showing, looks like they're playing of only bringing three. Salter. 
Didn't hear footsteps. Ball comes free. Still loose on the deck. Still loose. And finally corralled by UTEP. Thing was bouncing across half the field. Pressure comes from the backside. Knocked free. And boy, that's the kind of spark that UTEP was looking for. Yeah, what a hustle play. I think that was number 50. That might have been Tavita Tafuna who got to him. They brought oh, Hyman in motion, opts to dump it over the middle, and he was met promptly by Phoenix Porter. Pitch to Scadaboo. Goes to the corner. Scadaboo hit hard near the goal line in a gain of three. Kenny Haynes delivered the blow. Well, he's physical, isn't he? He gets those shoulders turned to the line of scrimmage. Back-to-back -back touchdowns early in the fourth. And the Eagles playing with their backup quarterback. Peterson got leveled after making the catch. They say he was down before the ball popped out. Elijah Huzzy comes screaming in. Is the fact that he maintained his composure Kind of stayed medium, didn't get too high, didn't get too low. Dumps it off here, and then nothing going. Big hit coming in from that Texas Tech defense. That's the linebacker, Ben Roberts. They have Jacob Rodriguez and Ben Roberts, and those are the guys that have to step up for this defense. 62 yards, Hunter comes out for this snap. Ooh, Marshall. Oh, goodness. How many times have we seen the Kai Hill Green? They do. And Mendoza takes a big hit. He never saw it coming. Trey White got in there, and he smashed the Cal quarterback for the second sack already. Well, it's another overload pressure by San Diego State early in this football game. Green's in the backfield next to him. Straight drop back. Kill Craig's oh, got crushed. Got absolutely hammered. The ball comes loose. What do we got? It's going to stay with Troy. I mean, you got to count to yourself. 1,000, 1,000, 2,000, 1,000, 1,000, five. That ball's got to be out right now. And just like clockwork, you mentioned the Metrodome. It's on at right point. Boston College defense answering the bell. And now the Bauer punt. Fielded at the 14, and Martinez should have put a hand up. Rice steal. But they did everything they wanted to do in that game. Card. Zips it in the middle. Oh, and in and out of the hands. I don't think he caught it. I don't either. Flair. I don't think that's going to be a completion. I think it was Jalen Sneed, wasn't it? Number three that got that hit. Oh, man. Oh, there's Stutter player. to go inside. Perfect throw and boom. Man. Heavy as it's rained all night. Ball pops out. Lobos fall on top of it. Sometimes they just, they just say, put your helmet on the football. And you're going to see that happen in this play. You're going to see helmet hit ball. The Yellow Jackets hitting that transfer portal this offseason, and then the position change. Oh, my goodness. Rice is absolutely destroyed. By South Carolina. I'm surprised he even got that ball off, but he did. First down carry for not much, an LSU offensive line that hasn't given up a sack. He's not in the picture. He's going to come from the left to the right, just closing, reads it, and fills that hole right there. That is beautiful. Because of the discipline and technique off of the football for big number 15. Yep. Second and long now, Edwards flinches, dumps it in the middle of the field, and boy, what a big hit that is. Octavian Smith Jr. and Jonas Syker. Hello. After Pitt's offense last year was the worst in the ACC. Holstein with time, checks it down, and Reed is drilled by Aubrey Burks, the aggressive senior with the stop. The Pierce Holly pressured again, got hit again, and it was Hubbard again. Hubbard came off the edge, nobody, nobody got him. He's on feature back to third down play here for the Aggies. Barnes bubbles it, then gets snuffed out. Slammed down. Tanu Vasa came right in and hammered the Aggie quarterback. Big loss. Oh 
Pavia, heavy rush, quarterback sag, ball out. Panthers get on top of it. Isaiah Guy scoops it up, and he goes down at the 20-yard line. Wow. He was looking to the opposite side, and there's the pass rush. Kevin Swint, the transfer from Clemson, leveled him and jarred the ball loose. Go. 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 Go.